Hi guys, welcome back to today's um, scholarship. Today's scholarship is an amazing fully funded scholarship that is provided by the University of Helsinki inside Finland. So we are rightly going to go into it. It's an amazing scholarship that is providing tuition fees and your stipend. And so what is this uh, program looking at is giving a fully funded grant, like I said, and um, a full tuition fee grant waiver. Now, who is eligible to apply for the scholarship? Now, you're eligible to apply for a master's program at the University of Helsinki. Um, and you're allowable and liable for your tuition fees. Um, citizens of non-EU country who do not have permanent status are liable for this tuition fees. Now, you will need to meet the requirements for obtaining an entry visa and resident permit to Finland and obviously have excellent results in your previous study and you can prove this in your application. Now, how do you apply? Now, let me tell you that this scholarship um, comes directly with the application. So you will need to find a master's program that you can apply through here. I'll lead you through that. I'll use an example of an application to be able to lead you through the process. And this is what this channel is all about. Now it says that you have to read the instructions on how to apply for the master's program and prepare the necessary attachment. Then apply for a scholarship with the same application form used to apply for the master's program. Now you submit all the required um, attachment. Now it's saying that this will be awarded uh, based on academic overall assessment and academic uh, performances, including your letter of motivation and what, what's, what's being asked from you from um, the program that you have to study. Now, um, if you receive um, a scholarship only for a category you have applied for, you can apply for more than one scholarship category. Now, please note that the um, this scholarship is very and highly competitive and so there are limited number of scholarships that could be offered um so like i said what is the benefit of this scholarship is giving you a free student union membership fee which will come including um free and affordable healthcare services by um finland uh student meal discounts reduction in public transport and other services at low prices now if you're also wondering what other scholarships that are present in university of helsinki you can also apply for it if you're a u.s student or you know any u.s student you can apply for the fulbright university of helsinki scholarship and also apply for other scholarships that are available here but for purpose of this video we are just going to talk about um that of the um tuition fee and scholarship program offered by um, University of Helsinki. To find out what courses um, are eligible, scroll down on this particular link that has been provided in the description box. Go down to the application and selection process. Click here on degree finder here. Um, and you would find the courses that you're eligible for. Now the Faculty of Agriculture, Faculty of Arts, Biological Sciences and whatnot. Now, if you're coming on this page, it's obviously because uh, you found this link somewhere that states that you're eligible. Now, if you click on all the courses, it gives sub courses under the faculties for which you can apply for. And like I said earlier on, the courses, um, if you pl apply for the courses, you would automatically be considered for the University of Helsinki scholarship. And this is quite competitive. Um, if you get the um, funding, you would be noted um, that you've gotten the admission and the funding. At this point, I'm going to use a particular course um, to run through the application with you. And so I'm very much familiar with materials research because I'm a materials engineer. So I'll use this particular platform to show you an example of it. Now, when you click on the particular course, it says that the application period starts on 1st December 2021 and ends on 5th January 2022. So that means that the application is not yet open for a master's degree. However, I would believe um, that you will need to, um, I, I mean, go through it and start preparing um, stuff needed for this particular scholarship. Now to say how to apply, I scrolled down and saw a quick guide to the application process. So I'm gonna have to um, click on that. Okay, yeah, that clicked on. And it says that um, you can apply for international master's program at the University of Helsinki using this quick guide. 
now it says check the application period now we noted that the application period for 2022 is not yet open it will begin in december 2021 now you will need to choose your prospective degree program using this platform here and also um, admission criteria and other specific details are available here so we'd like to go into that now make sure you're eligible and so if you're eligible which we've actually gone through it you will know what you need now you need to also prove your language of proficiency um, click on here to see what uh, what you require uh, for language proficiency and if you from now to the time um, that the scholarship opens you have all your document now when you're applying for the master's program you need to submit certain required document now um, there are some country specific requirements I'll click on that so we uh, see what's on there um, in other cases there are general instructions on how to submit your um, your document but um, here it says that make sure all your documents are officially certified and submitted correctly um, also during the application process which will open on December 1st um, here is um, 2021 that's for the 2020 admission i'm sure uh the the open that for the 2021 on in december so you should have um they've not updated the website yet but you should have all your details and now if you've submitted your application and got everything ready uh you will need to um check how they would obviously rate your admission and know whether you are eligible to apply so um, this is basically for the materials research platform, I guess. And so maybe, let me click on another link to see whether they've opened it as well um, so that we can have a quick go on that. I've had the click on global governance law as a course as well, uh, just to have a look through whether the application process is open. It is the same thing that it's saying that it will open on the 1st of December 2021. And, and on the 5th of January. So this scholarship, which is actually, um, I mean, they've, they've given a rise to it that it's um, you're yet to apply for it. But because they do not want you to miss out on the last minute steps, they are actually advising that you start the application process now. Now, one of the things I'll, I'll add on to it is saying that the next application round for international masters will begin in December 2021. So prepare all the documents um, you have to. And um, when the admission is open, it says that if you want to know the exact dates will be announced, you can sign up for this admissions newsletter to also know that. And so start preparing your document now. In the meantime, what is really important is knowing how to prepare for the required attachment that you will need to attach for your master's program. So um, we would like to go to, I mean, probably like the general instructions of submitting attachment and some country specific requirement still on the same page where you've got um, all the how to apply where I led you through um, you will see um, these details there then you can I mean click on that now if you go to required attachment now these details are for those who have had to um, submit by early on this year 2021 and they've already started st uh, studies but I mean it's just a proof of things you need to prepare if you do not have them now it's saying you need your degree certificate your transcripts translations of all educational documents um, if need be um, if you're studying in another country like Chinese and you would have to um, ch uh, translate them into English now your top up degrees or any um, sort of degrees that you've got now proof of uh, language um, proficiency now you must prove your language proficiency please find the accepted methods of proving your language um, proficiency here um, if you do not have it so you can start preparing for them and other closures obviously like a copy of your passport or your residence permits if you are in Africa or something your national ID um, if you've got some other supplement documentations for your academic degree be like a um, diploma other program specific enclosures that is related to the particular field that you're applying for um, so now it says degrees um, this is for uh, degrees that are awarded by Finland because this scholarship is also I mean for 
um, Finland services. Um, now it's talking about how to submit applications. Now, if the portal is opened, you would be given the opportunity to, um, some countries are given the opportunity to submit application by courier services. Um, some other countries will need to submit electronic documentations and all of that. So depending on when the portal is open, um, your country specific, you'll be required uh, to send through, I mean, uh, what not. Now it says that if you're applying for a master's degree, now you can use this um, to uh, as your contact address and send your documents through that part as well. Now, whilst you're waiting on them, one of the things I'll do is that I'll send them an email to say that I'm interested in applying for University of Helsinki and for this coming year out i'm from ghana or where, whichever country you're watching from please which medium of i mean uh, attachment would i have to send all my attachment i really appreciate any um, form of help i mean it's just um sort of notifying them yeah um so that they they can help guide you and they're always ready to listen to you now they're saying that there are certain portals here in certain countries that you will need to use certain portals um so this would i mean um um like definitely they are going to advise you on which particular list of acceptance services that you would need to use um to submit your documents and you realize that some of them are country specific so it is just worth asking before you do submit it but i'm pretty sure when the portal is open and what particular school or faculty now they would um, send which particular platform to send them to now it's saying that all your documents you will need to upload them as pdf files obviously that is the best way to go and make sure most of your um, um, documents are certified copies um, like your passports, your diploma, I mean, do not send photocopied or, I mean, things that were printed from your web portal. Make sure you send them um, directly. Now, they've created, I mean, a call us page, a chat page, a write to us page here that you can ask for any questions. So, whilst you're waiting, while you're gathering your document, I believe that you can just drop them an email to show your um, um um, your seriousness in applying for this course and also preparing effectively towards that. Now, one of the things as well I would advise is that if you can also contact a supervisor or um, a lecturer in the department um, of your course of studies, establish a connection with them, okay? Now, that connection could help them get a personal level with you so that if any admissions are put in place, obviously, if they have a hand materials research will come to materials faculty and all the faculty members will have a read through to review application they know that you are a viable candidate and they've had a, a personal i mean connection with you and so they find you as a viable candidate to be able to um be on that particular scholarship that's one way and that's one tip as well if you come back to the same page uh, from this link and on how to apply you realize that they're saying that admission criteria and other specific um details are available as study info if you do have a click on study info now it brings you back to this page where things are quite much easier and uh, less stressful now a lot of time you need to read 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 now um, I'm an expert in applying for master's degree and above and PhDs so I can't really tell much about bachelor's and other basic education but here it says that master's degree in English when you have a click on it it says that there's a um, two ways whether um, a joint application or a separate application I believe we are going for the joint application because um, you're applying for the scholarship and the admission at the same time now I provide deadlines um, here and it provides some very useful information uh, on how to apply and how to check your specific programs and what um, programs are available in English do have a click through do have a read if you don't understand anything please do drop in the chat box let's have a conversation around it this is a family where we are helping each other to um, expand and grow in a, a do-it-yourself sort of applications so do feel free to pop um, any questions that you have in the in the chat box and we'll be sure to 
um, to answer you now in the meantime whilst you're preparing um, for this scholarship gather all your document like I have said earlier on don't sit down for any scholarship to come to you now also use this link that I've posted in the suggestion box to also look for scholarships in your respective areas um, and always I mean drop a question another tidbit is also to find um, alumni who have been on this particular scholarship to also help you to navigate through and i'll also i mean uh, use my wide range of networks on people who have applied for this university of helsinki scholarships on linkedin to also answer your questions as much as possible i hope this video was helpful um and uh, like always do share this platform like uh, post the comments subscribe and hit the notification bell, bell button to get uh, pop up some any scholarships. See you same time another scholarship. Bye bye.